In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can download, install and set up ANOVA. For those who don't know, ANOVA is a tool that is used to annotate variants that have been detected from different organisms. You can use ANOVA to annotate variants from human genomes, mouse, worm, fly, yeast and many others. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and set up ANOVA. So on this page, go to the user guide section, click it. And then you have some list displayed for you. So you need to select the download ANOVA. So click it and then you'll be sent to another page. I will leave the link to this page also in the description box. So when you are here, look for this text. The latest version of ANOVA can always be downloaded here. So there's a link that has been embedded here. Okay, so just click it. Oh, open it in a new tab so i'll open it in a new tab and then i'll visit that tab but you can also click it straight away and then the page will be displayed so when you are here you need to register that's the requirement so you need to give some information your name organization and then we also have country and then phone number this one's are optional but your name and then your institution and then your institutional mail these are uh, mandatory so you need to make sure you have specified all these things okay so that's what we have so once you have specified the information here you need to also check i'm not a robot and then click on agree so once you do that a link will be sent to you via mail and you can use that link to download the software package so after filling and then submitting the form you'll get an email and that contains the link to um, the ANOVA software. As at the time of making this tutorial, some things have changed. And so, in addition to the email, I also had this information displayed for me. And the information here also had the download link for the ANOVA software, which is here. So, once I have this link, I can just use it to get the software. So, I'm going to get it. You can use your browser so if you have the link like this you can just open the link i'll open in a new tab and then you can save the software so i'll save mine now alternatively you can also download the anova software on the terminal so if you have the link like this one you can copy it and then go to the terminal and then use tools like will get or help to download it so let's try that also so on the terminal i'll first see to my home directory and then i will use double gets to download the software so i'll say w gets and then i'll supply it with a download link and then i'm going to execute this command you can use kel to also download but i prefer to use w gets so let's download the software Okay, the software is being downloaded. So let's wait for the guest to get the software for us. Okay. The ANOVA software has been downloaded. So if I do an LS, I'm going to find it here. So that has been done. Now let's continue. I am now going to extract the contents of this file, this tab of file here. So I'll say star x v f z and then i will specify the file name so i'm going to extract the contents now okay i have been able to extract the content so let's check so let's do an ls and we are going to find a directory called anova so let's do an ls into it we are going to find some files here okay so we have some scripts here so these are the scripts that we use to annotate variants. Okay, so that's what we have now. So let's proceed. Okay, we are now going to test ANOVA. So we are going to execute this script. If you are going to perform annotation using ANOVA, then you need to also have your database ready. ANOVA comes with a database that we can use, and that is this one here, the human db database. So this is hd19 
So let's ls into it. Let's ls into this human db directory. So I'll say ls anova slash human db. And we are going to find some files here. So each of these files here, each of these files here, okay, contains information that ANOVA uses to annotate the variants that um, you want. Okay, so if you use the script, let's say if you are using the script, okay, you specify your commands and options, and then you also need to specify the exact information that you want. Okay, the information that you want to use to annotate the variant. So ANOVA will take that information and then select the appropriate file and then use that for the annotation. So that's what we have. So let's proceed. Now we have our database. So let's also take a look at an example data that we can use. ANOVA comes with an example data and you can find that in this directory example. So let's ls into that. So we say ls ANOVA slash example. And we are going to find some files here. So we are going to use this VCF here. You can also try with this, but I will use this one. So that's it. It is important to note that in ANOVA, there are three types of annotation. Okay, there are three types of annotations. So let's take a look at them. So if you're on the ANOVA software page, just go to user guide. Okay, go to user guide, this session here, click it, and then you find the drop down here. So the last three here are the main annotation types. So we have gene based annotation, region based, and then filter based annotation. So if you are going to use ANOVA to annotate your variant, then you need to specify what uh, type of annotation that you want to use or you want to do. For this tutorial, I will demonstrate by run an example command that will perform a gene based annotation. So take note of that. Now let's go back to the terminal. So I'll make a copy of this VCF file. So I'll say cp anova slash example slash ex2.vcf and then I'll paste it here in my current directory. So if I do an ls, I'm going to see this file here. Okay, this is the example data that I'll use. Now let's proceed. So I have my data here, which I'll use. And I also have my database, which is here, ls anova slash human db. I have my database here. Okay, I also have some files here. So now I can proceed with the variant annotation. So I'm going to annotate the variants here using ANOVA. To do that, I'll first create a directory. Okay, so I'll use the directory um, to store the output files. So I'll say make the outputs. So now I have everything I need. So I'll now issue the ANOVA command. Okay, the script can be found here. So let's do an ls ANOVA. And we are going to see the script here. So I'm going to run the script. So I will say ANOVA slash table underscore ANOVA.pl. And then I will specify my VCF file, which is ex2.vcf. And then I will specify the database name. So the database name is here. We have to specify the path, the path to that database. And so it becomes ANOVA slash human db. And I'll add the slash here. And then I'll indicate the build version. So I'll say dash build version, which is this one here. So I'll say build via. And then I'll indicate it, it is HJ19. And then I'll say dash out. And then I'll specify the output file name. So here, because I'm going to save it in the output directory that I created, 
I'm going to say output slash and then I give the name of the output file. So this will be the base name. So I'll say my anu. So this means that all the files generated will have this name. And then they will be stored or saved in this directory, which is called outputs. So that's what we have. Let's add other options. I'll say dash dash thread. And then I'll say four. And then I'll also add this. I'll say dash remove. And then I'll add dash protocol. So this is where I want you to uh, pay attention. So dash protocol. And then I'll specify the protocol. I'll say ref gen. So the protocol here refers to the information that you want ANOVA to use to annotate your variants. Okay, so this time I want to use information from NCBI. Okay, and if you want to do that, then you have to use this protocol called ref gen. That is what you need to know. And then I'll also indicate this option here or flag. So I'll say dash operation. And then I'll say gen. I made mention that there are three main annotation types. We have gen based, region based, and then filter based. So the gen based annotation is specified using gen. Okay, that's for the operation. So the ref gen um, information here, the ref gen protocol here is a gen based annotation, and that is why the operation is also gen. So take note of that. And by the way, I have a separate tutorial where I explain all these options. So I just watch that video as well. The link to that video is in the description box. So this is just an introductory video. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time explaining the options, but check that video I made mention of. Okay, let's proceed. Let's add another option. We say dash na strange and we say dot. So empty entries will have this dots okay there. So take note of that. And we are also going to use this dash VCF inputs and then dash polish. So we have everything we need. So now we can execute this command to annotate the variance. So let's do that. Okay, so ANOVA has started its work. So let's wait for it to complete the annotation. Okay, annotation has been done. So that is why we have this information uh, given to us. So let's take a look at the outputs. So let's do an LS. The outputs can be found in this directory. So I'll say LS outputs. And I'll see the output files there. Okay, so that's what we have. Okay, so we have three output files. We have the AV input file, and then we also have this test file, and we also have the VCF file. The AV input file is a tab delimited file which has information from the variants. So here we have the chromosome, we have the start, and we also have the reference, and then the alternative alleles. You can also add other information, but these five are always present. And we also have this test file. This is also a tab delimited file and it has the annotations. So it has the variants as well as the annotations that ANOVA have added or ANOVA has added. Okay, so each column will represent an annotation. So if you have, if you use several or multiple protocols, then all of them will be in this file. And then they will all be present in separate columns. We also have this VCF file. So this VCF file has information from the original VCF file as well as the annotation that ANOVA added. Okay, so the annotations can be found in the info field. So if you want to extract the information from the info field, you can use 
some Linus commands you can also use BCF tools and I have covered some tutorials on that I will leave the link to those videos in the description box so I am going to open this file here using a spreadsheet software so let me just go to my file manager so this is the file so I'll open it with a spreadsheet software so let me do that now so this is the file and then we have our chromosome we have our start and ref us and we also have the annotations here so we have the annotations here so you can just look at the annotation and then perform your analysis or just um, use that to explore your data more so in addition to the ref gene there are other protocols that you can also specify and then get that information there so that's something that i've covered in another tutorial so i encourage you to watch that this is just an introductory video so that's it